Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing well. I am back with an updated q and I feel like I haven't done one of these in literally the longest time ever. So I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to send in a bunch of questions and that's exactly what you guys did. Just went and picked up Mackie D's. I'm gonna be trying the new menu out. And I picked up some things that I never normally have from McDonald's. So I thought that'd be quite interesting to chit chat and answer some of you guys' questions and have my lunch slash dinner because it's half seven and i haven't eaten since this is really bad don't copy me guys but i haven't really had a proper meal since six o'clock i had breakfast about six ish like half six and then i've just really had like a nibble here and there but today has been such a busy busy day i haven't really had a chance to sit and have lunch and like have a proper meal so a cold coke zero for Mackie d's just hits differently okay if you know you know bismillah Mm -mm -mm. I've been getting a lot of questions recently in regards to gym and how I, I stay motivated and so this person asked how do you get the motivation to work out so early does the baby wake wake up in the night um so the motivation to get me through oh my god I'm gonna start eating guys because I'm actually starving um barbecue sauce if you know you know uh barbecue is the only sauce I really have from Mackie D's because it's just beautiful. Um, I picked up the new mozzarella bites from Mackie D's because the cheese bites, all the cheese bites that they do really is beautiful. I'm talking about gym as I'm stuffing my face with Mackie D's. So this is, um, this is great. Love that for me. Bismillah. Okay, so how do I stay motivated to work out so early? So the only time I actually get time in my day to go to the gym is early in the morning. The rest of the day, I'm occupied with Amelia. So... I really don't get time later on and i could do in the evening but i literally my energy level goes down rather than goes up so i have the most energy in the morning and then um later on i'm so shattered by the end of it obviously being with her all day i'm so shattered i have no energy to do anything so i just want to sit and chill because now when i look at the gym i don't look at it as in like oh my god i need to work out i need to like do this and do that it's kind of like i put it in like my routine now so now i wake up um i get myself sorted and i hit the gym straight away so it's like part of my day-to-day -day routine so i don't look at it as like oh i need to go to the gym i just kind of be like okay i'm gonna start my day with the gym come home and then continue with the rest of my day so that's kind of how i do it i'm not super super strict in like what i eat and stuff like that like i don't want to talk about food and calories and stuff like that it can be quite triggering to some people but i am um, I'll have cheat days here and there I eat today like today I'm just eating what the hell I want so I will have cheat days I'm not gonna be super super strict with myself and like limit myself to like you know just fruit and veg all day and like no I'm gonna like enjoy food because food is life I'm sorry but like food is life um so I'll maintain like a healthy lifestyle but if I do fancy a bar of chocolate I'll have a bar of chocolate that's kind of how I do things Another question is, how's mom life going? Hope you and the little one are doing well. Sending lots of loves and uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So mom life is, alhamdulillah, going a lot better than I, well, it has been, shall we say. It was so hard to kind of find the balance. And I know this sounds really bad, but kind of enjoy motherhood. Um, whoa, that's a big trip, isn't it? So with motherhood, it, I did find it difficult i'm not gonna sugarcoat and say it's like the easiest thing in the world it's not like motherhood is super super hard and i did struggle with it for a while but i am getting a lot better alhamdulillah like i have like a good routine with her and i feel like i'm starting not starting i mean i feel like i'm really getting to grips with everything i.e like you know when she used to cry i'm like oh i used to stress myself out so much like why the hell is she crying and like now i kind of know i i see signs so that has made it so much easier for me um so yeah if you're a new mom um you'll get there at first it might seem so difficult but you'll get you'll get it you'll you wait you'll get it i promise you but at first with anything everything's hard at first but with practice it'll get easier advice for those having a c-section any pit any bits to buy in particular um so for someone who's suffering with a c-section um 
what would I recommend? When I packed my hospital bag, I packed like the spritz for a bit. I packed so many things I actually didn't need. Um, if you want me to talk about more about stuff like that there in another video, then I'll happily elaborate and talk about like what you really need. But one thing I would say don't overpack i feel like i overpacked and i picked uh packed up so much stuff and it was like stuff that i really didn't need but one thing i will say you need is definitely maternity pads even if you have a c-section by the way you do still bleed i didn't know that i know that sounds dumb but i literally didn't know that i thought okay if i have a natural birth then yeah obviously i'm gonna bleed but with the c-section i didn't think i was gonna bleed but you bleed so maternity pads pack a lot of it because you're gonna need it and what else some really high-waisted pants like nothing over the scar nothing touching the scar because the pain is something completely different yeah so high high-waisted pants and maternity pads definitely <laughs> you'll thank me later okay another good question is do you prefer the newborn stage or the current stage right now a hundred percent the current stage right now there's advantages and disadvantages okay so the newborn stage the good thing about it is they sleep a lot so you have a lot of time on your hand you have a lot you feed them they sleep you feed sleep that's literally how it is that's how your life's going to be but the stage right now i love it so much because she's getting into her character like a little bit like i'm starting to see her little character she gets really like shy um like when i try and make her laugh she gets really shy and she turns her face which is so cute by the way <laughs> like super super cute mashallah for color and her smile and her dimples are just so adorable so um mashallah to barakallah so i would say i definitely enjoy this stage because i can see more of her character she's more interactive um and she talk like she's not talk but she babbles a lot and i'm really enjoying that because she's like really fun to be with but um the newborn stage the babies are really boring because all they do is they sleep and feed so but you'll get a lot more time on your hand that's one thing i'd say now i'm super busy with her all day i literally have no time for myself hence why i haven't eaten but don't copy me because that's not a good thing Another question is, how are you and your husband... A lot of baby questions, by the way. <laughs> um, how are you and your husband adjusting to um, being parents? Mashallah, you are all so lovely. Thank you so much. Um, where's my barbecue sauce? Oh, there it is. Um, me and my husband are adjusting well. Alhamdulillah, we have a really, really good routine. Bismillah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, we have a good, really good routine. Alhamdulillah, like mashallah. Adol is a really, really good dad he like this evening he's doing the nighttime routine and he's like to me like babe you've been with her all day like go out do what you want to do um like go for a drive go get yourself a drink like just go chill so he's really mashallah he's a really good dad and he's a very good husband so he's understanding he knows like sometimes obviously being with her all day by myself can be quite tiring and sometimes i need a break and just need a bit of me time and he gives me that so i really really appreciate that and so yeah we're adjusting really well because we both have like a good routine like one night i'll do the night nighttime routine then one night he'll do it vice versa um and like during the day if i'm taking her down for a nap he'll do the bottle cleaning or like you know we're always like doing things together we're sharing the tasks because there's always something to do another question is do you diet you look so good mashallah diet i think not um i Again, I don't want to talk too much about like healthy eating or anything like that because I'm not an expert. I'm still trying to lose my baby weight, guys. It's still a journey. I have lost a little bit, alhamdulillah. But um, I am not being I'm not being too strict to myself because um, I've only given birth like four months ago, um, so I'm not being too harsh on myself. I'll have things that I want to have when I want it, but I won't go too crazy. So I won't have McDonald's every single day. Like no, I'll have it once in a blue moon when I fancy it, but like with everything you need limits and that's kind of what i normally do if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be a hundred percent stop here and comment down below and let me know where you think i would where i would live but if i could go anywhere in the world i would love to move to dubai 100 percent um if you guys are new here i actually lived in dubai um a few years ago um i actually lived in dubai um for a few years when i was younger um 
for reasons that I'm not going to go into it but basically I absolutely loved my childhood like I love Dubai Dubai is like home to me so I would love to bring up Amelia in Dubai because there's so much to do it's such a beautiful country firstly it's an Islamic country secondly it's such a beautiful place like if you've never been to Dubai you guys have to go to Dubai it's literally incredible and everything's halal um when the weekend comes there's always things to do like when the weekend hits here i'm like oh what should we do there's not much to do um so yeah if i could move anywhere hands down dubai how did you deal with baby blues now i don't know if you guys knew um know this but i actually had emergency c-section so i had i had the baby blues for sure like i was so like I was so down i remember like i would be in the hospital because by the way i had to stay four days in the hospital after i had amelia because i had an infection um and i remember i would just be crying and crying all day and i just didn't know why i was so emotional um uh, and i was just just it was such a like shock to my system i firstly gone for the emergency c-section because i was I didn't have to i didn't have a chance to mentally prepare for it secondly i was in so much pain thirdly my whole life was so different and i was stuck in a hospital and they're drugging me up so yeah i did suffer with baby blues i didn't i haven't talked about it really much but i i really did suffer with baby blues i remember like crying all day every day and i would be like oh like i want to do something to help you like please help me and i was just like i don't know what you can do to help me but I just felt so crap and I felt so low and I never really felt that low before. I think that's a question. Did you deal oh how oh sorry. How did you deal with baby blues? My bad. <laughs> um I guess I dealt with it differently than other people. Some what I would recommend is speaking to people and um speaking to your midwife or speaking to people around you and just talk about how you feel because it's not a bad thing to go through that like it's so normal everyone kind of goes through baby blues so if you're going through it don't feel like you're alone because you're not alone i would definitely key thing is speaking to people definitely speak to people around you i did it i just kind of kept it in and i'll just cry and i'll just cry and cry and now looking back i kind of wish i spoke to people about it because it's not a good thing to just kind of be, like it's not a good thing so don't do what i do just speak to people that's the best thing i would recommend another question is would you ever visit the maldives yes book me a ticket today and i'll be there like literally i would love to go to the maldives um it's such a beautiful beautiful place it's definitely one thing on my um wish list is to go to the maldives for sure congrats on baby amelia thank you um would you like a baby number two one day um it's not really something i have thought about um i can't really answer that question just yet i feel like it's still very raw if that makes sense i'm still kind of getting through everything so i can't really say if i want a baby number two i couldn't tell you <laughs> another question is love you but you seem very cautious about your weight i hope you haven't got issues that's really nice um I am very cautious about my weight. I do have body dysmorphia, 101%. I always have had uh, body dysmorphia. Um, that's something I'm struggling with and I have for years. So to answer that question, yes, um, I do have weight issues. But I am kind of working with it in my own way. It's kind of a bit difficult when you have this as your job. You're always analysing yourself. You're constantly analysing yourself. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. You're... Um, literally constantly analyzing yourself so it's a bit difficult in that perspective but um it's just something i'm working with how was the c-section recovery being is it crazy painful i am just going to be completely honest and give you from my experience um yes it was very very painful for me i i remember just crying and crying and crying because the pain was just honestly so horrendous i've never experienced pain like it before so for me it was extremely painful i would say like a good 10 out of 10 i remember the first time i had to get up to go for a wee a bit too my but we are open here i was literally crying like literally screaming crying i had one midwife holding my hand um, lifting me up from this side and then adult holding me up from this side and i had to walk to the toilet and it, it was just the most painful thing i ever had to go through i absolutely hated it so 
yeah i'm not gonna sugarcoat and say what was easy because it wasn't easy it was really really painful but everyone experiences pain differently some people don't find it as painful i know i was speaking to someone and they said to me that they just got up straight away and went to the toilet and they were absolutely fine and um, they found it a bit painful but nothing compared to what i went through so everyone's pain threshold is different but i definitely definitely did find it painful for sure i also picked up the new double chocolate pie and i never ever eat the pies from mcdonald's like the apple pie this is not my thing but i thought i'd give this a go and try it out it looks quite interesting very crunchy very very crunchy I like the flavor it's very bizarre it's like dark chocolate for sure very crunchy did i say <laughs> i give this like maybe like a four out of ten mm, not really my cup of tea hope you guys enjoyed my updated q a a lot of you guys have noticed i've gone a bit quiet but honestly life has been so um busy with a child i haven't had a ch chance to really do anything as such i'm kind of just adjusting to everything but i am going to be uploading here and there and uh, so bear with me guys i will be back but i will be back at a pace that's comfortable for me i hope you guys enjoyed this q a if you guys did don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up and if i've missed your questions then leave them commented down below um i'll definitely do a part two if that's something you guys are interested in and um, but nevertheless if you're not following me on my socials make sure you follow me on my socials i'll leave the link down below for you guys as well and um, that's basically where i upload on every single day but anyways i will catch you guys in my next video um i'm gonna love you and leave you